Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Morning Prayer and Devotion on this Monday. So glad to be back with you live today and all of this week. And just looking forward to great things together in the presence of God. We have uh, several praise reports to catch up on. Uh, perhaps you saw some of these posted uh, throughout the week last week if you were viewing the live feed. But uh, this is my, my first opportunity to mention these to the whole team. So uh, bear with me this morning as I uh, go through these and any new requests that we have today. Arlo's surgery was successful. Praise God for that. They were able to get his intestines completely reconnected. His abdomen is still open for now, and they're hoping to close it tomorrow. Uh, Arlo has had over 20 surgeries due to the horrific accident uh, last year where he was ran over by a vehicle. And we are still believing for his full recovery. Jamie Jo reports that her dad's lungs are now completely clear. Uh, as you'll remember, he's uh, had quite a battle with bird flu. And so we're thankful today that we can uh, remove him from the list as far as the uh, needs of uh, lung and respiratory situations. Uh, Brenda Ward has been doing well since her recent heart surgery and pacemaker placement. Uh, Cheryl Chance is praising God that her cousin has started going to church. And so we just thank the Lord for all these uh, significant changes that have happened over the past few days since I've been able to be with you live. Uh, in our prayer request today, let's do remember those who are having upcoming surgical procedures. Judy Williams' grandson, Michael, is having a cyst removed from his wrist on November the 3rd. Paul Swinney is scheduled to have his back surgery on November 28th. Uh, this will be a seven-hour surgery, so very, very uh, in-depth uh, situation there. Lois Link has been waiting for surgery on her back for several months. She still has no scheduled date for this at last word, so we continue to pray for that situation. Terry Nelson's oldest sister, Cindy, will be having back surgery to remove crushed disc and bone spurs. Also, Chris Gregson uh, may be having a surgical procedure in the near future. Eddie Potts is being treated for an open hip wound. He also needs surgery on the shoulder. At some point uh, while I was away, uh, he was supposed to be having a appointment um, to find out what the treatment plan would be for his hip wound. And so we look forward to hearing an update on Eddie. Uh, Brother Bob Perkins uh, needs prayer for his eyesight. He's had a lot of problems with his eyes due to shingles and also now glaucoma. We need to continue praying for Rob, uh, who's been battling extreme blood clots and also has uh, complicating factors due to traumatic brain injury. Eva Pennington um, was told recently that it's very likely she has colon cancer. Her white blood cell count is very, very elevated. A colonoscopy has been scheduled uh, to determine for sure what's going on. Those who are battling cancer Need our continual prayers, Murphy Belgard, Linda Young, Rebecca Peterson, Kenny Burns, Sherry Wilson, Amy Dees, Cheryl, Diane Escher, Heather, Dennis Phelps, Sherry, Dwayne, Claire, Alice, Scott Lucia, Michelle's sister, Cindy, Marcia's friend's grandparent, Daniel Dickinson, Kristen's friend, Betty, Ari Bowers, Donna Hayes, uh, Jamie Joe's grandfather, who's battling lung cancer, Gladys Sims. Uh, who's uh, been diagnosed with adenocarcinoma, Jordan uh, and Julia, both going through chemo. Marcia's co-worker's aunt also started chemo recently, and Marcia has asked us to pray for her salvation also. Uh, we're praying for Darla and Virginia as they are continuing precautionary treatments after having cancer uh, cancers removed and praying that uh, the cancer will stay in remission. Those who need pain relief include Ann Harbin, Elaine Wilfong, Diane, Judy Cookson. Uh, these ladies um, in the local nursing home uh, needing our continued prayers as they go through physical therapy to regain their strength. Chris, Renee, Sammy, Sheila uh, have all been on our list for mobility problems for quite some time. Let's pray for better mobility for them today. Also, Rose Brown, June Coffer and Sister Judy's mom dealing with arthritis pain. 
Let's pray for all those with back problems, including Becky Wilson, Carolyn Rogers, Bob O, Rebecca Williams, Britt Moore, Cindy Page, Pam's daughter Jenny, Brianna Williams, Johnny Nelson, Terry Nelson, Michael Parrott, Lori Gravel, Jennifer Williams, and Melena Cummins. Uh, Melena has also had some more health issues uh, over this weekend, ended up in the ER, and um, um, had to be checked out for some chest and back pain that was going on. And so let's continue to pray for her health. Um, Marsha has been having problems with her hip and back area. So she needs our prayers uh, continued for her. We pray for continued recovery for Nelda Rutledge, recovering from multiple stab wounds. Pastor Christopher Dew, uh, who's continuing to recover from Guillain Bray syndrome. Pastor David Kent with partial paralysis uh, after falling on an icy pavement last winter. And uh, it's coming up quickly now on a year. Um, just about a month and a half from now would be a year since his accident. So let's keep praying for his health today, uh, as well as for all these who have suffered stroke, including uh, Deidre Sirfoss, Dwayne, Johnny's nephew Joey, Carmen's cousin Kelly, Evangelist Billy Huey, Buddy Randolph, Wayne Owens, and Anthony Sifford. And I would mention uh, a significant update uh, for Anthony. He did have a little complicating factor this past week where his feeding tube uh, got a crack in it. And they're going to have to replace this. They were hoping they could just kind of limp along until it could be removed permanently. But they're not quite ready for that. However, he has been eating more and more food, uh, eating mashed potatoes and things like that, uh, which he had not been able to do. They told him that he can now eat anything uh, that can be put through a blender. And so he's been even having tacos and things like that. Um, so significant, significant progress for Anthony, we give God praise for that. Uh, be praying for uh, Sarah and Sharon, both recovering from hip surgery. Uh, Seth has been on our prayer list ever since he injured his hand with a, um, I believe, a chainsaw accident or uh, some kind of a deep cut wound and uh, severed several tendons. He has one feeling that never uh, one finger that never regained feeling after the surgery. So we're praying for that. Also, Jasmine needs our continued prayers. Uh, let's remember uh, Elliot. This is Sally Waller's grandson. He recently tested uh, for autism. I have not heard the results of that yet, uh, but we're praying for Elliot. Also, other children on our list, including Darla's granddaughter with seizures, Tammy Lawson's granddaughter, Emily, with epilepsy, Elise with seizures of unknown cause, Bailey May with hearing loss, Baby G with many many health issues. Lower leg, Jenna and Tucker battling childhood cancer. Abram with GNA01 disorder. Abel with PKU and autism. Tano with spina bifida. Brantley and Elsie with heart issues. Gus Sappington's grandson and Abby, both with developmental delay issues. Pray for those who are suffering from diabetes. Now, these include Jimmy Warren, Cheryl LaChance for the Pulliam, Christian Carr, Titus Dornbach, Cindy and Lloyd Page, Tim Workman, Steve Cummins, Anthony Williams, Michael Williams, Emily Stanley, Evie, Rose Brown, Becca Chady, J.R. Johnson, Lola Dickinson, Kristen's neighbor Natalie, Kristen's cousin Grady, Holly, and myself. Also, uh, regarding J.R., um, it has not been put on the list formally, but this was something that happened last week, I think. He had surgery, and they were going to have to amputate at least uh, his uh, one toe and possibly uh, a deeper amputation than that. I have not heard an update since then, so let's continue to remember JR. Pray for all these with heart issues. Robin Felber, Doyle Mitchell, Holly, Amy D, Cheryl LaChance, Mark Morris, Kelly B, Blaine, Kenny Prenzel, Mike Sappington, Joyce Fisk, Sister Patty Arnold, David Duggar, Bud Taylor, Don and Betty Cossey, Jimmy Warren, and Michelle Strain's mother. I'm praying for those with Parkinson's disease. These include Vivian, Russ, Beulah, my dad, Kristen's friend Matt, Tim Workman, and Joey Etheridge. Pray for Dave and Oscar, both with kidney problems, Sarah Stroop, Marty DeLott, Riley March, and Carmen's sister Tracy, battling multiple sclerosis. Praying also for Tracy's house to sell in order to shorten her daily work commute. 
We're praying for Beth, Marcia, Milena, and Marcia's co-worker son who battle migraine headaches. Uh, Vivian, Kristen's friend's dad, Johnny Nelson's mom, and Melinda Cummins' mom with dementia. Ben Ramey's stepdad, Tom, has memory deterioration issues uh, very significant over the past year. We're praying for Marcia's neighbor, Carol, Regina Marlin, and Bob Perkins uh, with shingles. Dee's mother, Carolyn, Kareem Green, Gary Lee, Rebecca Rush, Kendra Ortiz, and Robbie Northrup with lung problems. Chase and Sherry with uh, significant liver issues, Chase with stage four liver failure, and Sherry is needing a liver transplant. We're praying for Wanda Pennington, Eva's daughter Sandra, Michael Parrott, Olivia, Kristen's neighbor Natalie, Regina Marlin's granddaughter Aubrey, Pam Pulliam's, Pam Pulliam's granddaughter Savannah, Amber Kay, Star Ramey, and Heather Spence, all with stomach issues. Also with health needs that we're praying about, Meredith, uh, Judy Cookson's granddaughter and great-granddaughter, Marshall Link, Robin Tibbs, Cheryl Ogden, Sheila Sadler, Shirley Perkins, Jessica O'Hara, Janet, Judy Williams' brother, George Tibbs, Doug Seaball, Mara Sullivan, Michelle Clark, and Devin Huff, uh, all needing a healing touch. Continue praying for all of our military personnel and their families, especially those who have been called up uh, for support roles uh, in the uh, war in Israel and also those um, stationed around Ukraine uh, trying their best to keep that conflict from spreading into other regions. We need to pray for uh, Grace and Johnny as uh, they are uh, newly married and he is newly in the military and uh, continue to pray for that transition and pray for Grace as she needs good connections with healthcare providers at their new um, home there in Texas. Pray for those who are in nursing homes today. They always need our uh, continual prayers. Also, we have unspoken needs uh, for Judy Williams' family, Johnny's family, Jessica's family, Tracy Powers, and the Pulliam family. Uh, job situations that we're praying about for Josh, for Maria, for uh, D. Ruth, uh, who's needing a new apartment as soon as possible. We're also praying uh, for those who have been displaced um, from their jobs uh, that work at Tyson Foods. Pray they will all find employment very quickly now that that plant has closed down. Uh, please lift up our North American and global missionaries in your prayers today, especially the Mitchell family in Bloomfield and the Marino family. Um, who have started a Spanish work in Burns Mill, Missouri. Uh, pray for the new works right here in our uh, section, section four um, in, in the Boot Hill, Brother Gorley, who has a, a thriving Spanish work that they've started there in Still, Missouri, and also now evangelistic outreach in uh, Haytime, Missouri, a much, much needed new work uh, there. Pray for our metro missionaries, our global missionaries, all needing prayer today. The Tanyas and Pattersons, uh, uh, very notably in Ukraine. And although we do not hear much news from that war uh, due to the uh, situation in Israel that's eating up all the news coverage currently, uh, the Tanyas and Pattersons are still in harm's way every day of their lives, and they need God's protection and favor uh, to continue to abide with them. The Tingley family, uh, going to Haiti. They need our prayers. Uh, we need to pray for believers who are being persecuted in Papua New Guinea, Pakistan, India, and Myanmar. And we do need to pray for peace in Israel today. Uh, spiritual and family needs we're praying for. Uh, Cheryl, the chances cousin who has started going back to church, let's pray that uh, she would continue and pray that she can get her sister uh, to go to church with her. Uh, continue to pray for Jessica's ongoing family situation. Pray for Jeffrey, who needs reconciliation in his family. His wife needs healing as well. Uh, pray for Marcia's friend, Linda, um, who needs to overcome depression and is in dire need of healing. The Clark family, uh, Marcia and Britt's family, Mike and Judy's family, the Robbins family, Pam Pulliam's family, Debbie Biddick's family, the Sappington family. Matt and Michaela, Mark and Caitlin, Cheryl Chance's family and friends, 
Zek Osgood and other Mingo Job Corps alumni, uh, as well as the current students there, our Mingo RCF residents, the Cummins family, uh, with some family issues they've been navigating. Uh, Brandon, who's been dealing with a marriage on the verge of ending. Shirley, struggling with thoughts of suicide. Jenny Perkins' sister, Lisa, with mental, emotional, and spiritual needs and just has been very, very withdrawn and isolated. And uh, that is not a good situation for her. Carmen has asked us to pray for David to return to God. Uh, we're praying for those battling addictions, including Ashley, Allen, Josh, Dawson, Charles, Dana, Frank, and William. Uh, praying for revival in our communities and for prodigals to return home. Let's lift up Regina Varland's family. Pray for Lexi, Jean, Judy Johnson's grandson, Holden, Beulah Ziegler's granddaughter, Amber, Jennifer and Brenda's family, uh, JR's spiritual needs, Destiny, also with spiritual needs, Annette and Dave needing our continued prayers, and Eva Pennington's children. She's praying for them uh, to turn to the Lord. And all of these needs today we're going to take to the Lord in prayer. Thank you for soldiering uh, through that list with me today. Um, that has eaten up most of our time this morning, uh, but it's been such a uh, several days since I've been able to uh, bring these needs to your attention, so I didn't want to read the complete list uh, this morning. Good morning to each of you, Beth, Carmen, uh, Johnny. Uh, and he's talking about Terry coming down with a cold. Um, and yes, the weather changing is causing lots of uh, seasonal illness. I've been a little under the weather myself. Thank God I was able this past week to soldier through that, and it amazingly did not affect my voice in any significant way, uh, and that was a good thing since we had um, to lead the worship, or should I say we were privileged to lead the worship at the minister's retreat in Branson this past week, and what a wonderful time we had uh, there fellowshipping with other ministers and their, uh, their families. Um, good morning to you, Kristen and um, uh, Cheryl. Cheryl's not feeling well today. She's still in bed this morning, so let's pray for her. Good morning, Ben and Sherman, Pam and Marcia. Thank God for each of you with us today. Judy is with us this morning. Others continuing to sign on, and we thank God so much for each of you. Let's go to the word of the Lord here as we're pressed for time this morning, going to read just eight verses of Psalm 105. It says, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, call upon his name, make known his deeds among the people, sing unto him, sing psalms unto him, take ye or talk ye of all his wondrous works, glory ye in his holy name, let the heart of them rejoice that seek the Lord. Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his face evermore. Remember his marvelous works that he hath done, his wonders and the judgments of his mouth. O oh, ye seed of Abraham his servant, ye children of Jacob his chosen, he is the Lord our God. His judgments are in all the earth. He hath remembered his covenant forever, the word which he commanded to a thousand generations. You know, uh, this psalm uh, really just affects every area of our lives and each of us, no matter uh, what we uh, need today, it is the right psalm for that situation. If it was a long distance race, uh, life in itself, if it was a long distance race, this psalm would be the right pair of shoes for you to get to the finish line. Uh, if we compare life to a battle and you were a soldier, uh, this psalm would be your sword and shield. If you were a boxer, this psalm would keep you from beating the air. If you were a sailor, this psalm would keep you from being blown and tossed by the wind. And, and just whatever uh, your occupation or your situation, you get the idea this psalm gives us truths to live by, truths that will guard us and keep us on the right path, truths that we need to uh, make our starting point every day. Now, today we're focusing on the first eight verses. The remaining 
37 verses, they give us story after story of God's wonders, but it all is set up by the principles given to us in the first eight verses. In verse 1 and 2, the psalm kicks off by going further than just calling us to praise and worship, but telling us that we need to let the world know of God's wonderful acts. Faith and power are released when we tell the stories of what God has done in our lives. God's stories in your life and God's stories throughout history uh, will provide a release of faith and a release of the power of God. So spend a few minutes with God today. Ask him if there are people around you that need to know your testimony and the wondrous things that God has done uh, in your life. Verse 3 tells us to seek the Lord, and it tells us that when we seek the Lord, the end result of that will be rejoicing. When you look for God, he will reveal himself to you. We need to make that our lifestyle, that we are seeking God daily. We are connecting with him daily, not just uh, on Sunday and Wednesday or whenever your church services are uh, conducted but each and every day of our lives, we need to be looking for him. And if we will seek him, he will be found of us and we will have reason to rejoice. Verses five through eight, we should go back and take some time personally to look at carefully because they will change how every day looks. Spend some time meditating on these scriptures today. Maybe write them down uh, as they will give you strength for today and faith for tomorrow. Our God is the only one of whom it can be said that he can keep his promises for 1,000 generations. That's what the word says. He's the only one of whom it can be said that his wonders are in all the earth. So be on the lookout for God in your situations today. His wonders and his faithfulness are everywhere. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Let's praise him today and trust him with our needs. Lord, we thank you for your word today that is an encouragement to each one of us and truly is a, a light for our pathway, a lamp for our feet today. And we give you praise and glory, Lord. Help us not to hide the light that you have given us, but to set it up high where all can see it today. We want to truly be that city that you described sitting on a hill that cannot be hid. We want our testimony, God, to be apparent today and easily accessible for others. We thank you for what you've done in our lives. You've been so wonderful. And we know, God, as we've looked at these praise reports today and what you've done for others, that you're going to move for these others that have needs today. We've called every name out that was presently on the list. And we know, God, that you heard each name. You were aware of every need before we even came to you with these things. But we come to ask you and to trust in your mighty name for healing, deliverance, salvation today. You are able to save to the uttermost. You are able to deliver out of every situation. And it's upon you, God, that we, uh, we believe and we trust today for these answers to prayer. For all these that are facing upcoming surgeries, those who are recovering from surgery, and those who are facing uh, situations that they don't know exactly what the outcome is going to be physically or even what their treatment plan is going to be. We believe for their healing. For those in hospitals today, we pray, God, you would reach down and that your virtue would flow into them right now. We pray for all these who are battling cancer and those who have been declared cancer-free but remain on these precautionary treatments. And Lord, all those going through chemo and radiation today, be with them. Be with their families, we pray. Those that need relief of pain and strength for physical therapy, we pray your hand upon them today. Those with mobility problems and arthritis, those who are suffering with back pain and hip and other joint pain today, God, we pray you would reach down right now and touch them. We believe for continued recovery for all of these that have been mentioned on this list today, regardless of what the setback has been, regardless of what the prognosis is, you are the mighty God. 
hallelujah. We believe in your name today. We trust in you. We pray, God, for these children today on our list, Lord, that you would continue to minister healing to each one of them. We pray, God, for those who suffer with diabetes and heart problems, those dealing with Parkinson's symptoms today, those with kidney issues, those who are struggling with uh, their battle against multiple sclerosis. We believe for the upper hand for each of them today. We pray for those who are battling migraines and dementia, shingles and lung issues, liver problems and stomach issues today. In the name of Jesus, we speak healing for each one. For these others who have undisclosed health needs today and unspoken requests, God, we pray that you would move for them. Let your hand be upon our military personnel today. You see the instability in our world. You see our, our military installations that have been attacked several times uh, recently. Lord, we pray you would give our leaders wisdom in their response. We pray for Israel right now for peace in that region. In the name of Jesus, we pray, God, for the hostages. It seems like that number is adjusted upward each and every day. And we pray, God, for these hostages, Lord, give them peace in this storm that they're in. We pray for their deliverance today. We pray for Grace and Johnny and others who are new to military life. We pray for those who are in nursing homes today, those who have unspoken needs, those with job situations. Lord, move in these things, we pray. Lord, bless our global missionaries today, our North American missionaries. We know, God, that you're going to provide for them and that you're going to meet their needs. Open doors of ministry for them. Encourage them today, we pray. We pray, God, for relief, for persecution, for those who are in Myanmar, India, Pakistan, and Papua New Guinea, and other uh, access-challenged nations today. We pray, God, for those who have spiritual needs, whether for themselves or for family members today. We pray, God, that you would be with them. Lord, those that are battling depression, those that uh, suffer from bipolar disorder, from extreme anxiety issues, uh, those who are struggling with suicidal thoughts today, those with manic and uh, depressive uh, episodes today. God, we believe for healing of the mind, healing of the spirit, uh, restoration of the soul today, God, and healing for the body. It's your desire for us to be completely whole. We pray for those who are battling addictions, Lord, that they would realize the freedom that they have because of your sacrifice at Calvary. Hallelujah. We pray, God, for those at Job Corps and at Mingo RCF and for others, Lord, that you would move in their situations today. Let revival break out in every family, in every home, and we'll give you the praise for it today, God. For every prodigal that returns, we give you the praise and the glory. We know that you're working right now. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We know that you're working right now. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you thanks. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. God bless you, prayer team. Thank you for praying with me this Monday morning. We'll be here all week uh, at 7.30 each morning, and I encourage you all to join together with us we're going to see great things happen through prayer ministry this week. I'll see you tomorrow morning right here on Facebook at 7.30 a.m. I hope that you can join me.